Tell us more about the show The Fosters. Obviously, a lot of you guys know about the character Connor. The cool thing is I've kind of grown up with him since I was you know, like 13 and I'm now 16. Yeah. So my whole puberty was kind of like documented on national television. What was it like? You growing up with a character. So does your life and the character's life merge? Well, Connor and I, are, our demeanor is, is kind of similar. Like yeah. Connor, Connor's character, he's kind of you know, calm and he's not very outgoing and I'm kind of like that, I guess. So. That was, was kind of easy for me to um, play the role of Connor. I guess really the thing that I took into my personal life from the role is you know, the awareness of the LGBTQ community and for bullying. Like that, I was never aware of that before the show. Mm. So. Did you um, have to adjust, adapt to the vibe when you were shooting on set? Something that was very helpful with a dialogue coach because I hadn't had like too much experience before the Fosters of like acting and really getting into a character that I felt strongly about. So what are some of the tricks your coach taught you? One was uh, for articulation, I should okay. probably do that before this interview, but they put a pencil in your mouth, or like sideways like this, and you bite it, and then uh -huh. you say all your lines with the pencil in your mouth, and then when you take it out, you talk very clearly since you're trying to make mm -hmm. up for it. Really? So, yeah, that was a cool wow. trick. Wow. Yeah.